6 at the Expo. It's um, quarter to 3 in the afternoon and we wanted to give you an update because there's a lot happening. There might be three in goal and uh, another one approaching, but the race, the real exciting race, is happening between turn point 5 and 6. Quick update on yesterday. We've spoken to the Uis Lindis supporters and um, they had quite an epic yesterday. Uis was caught in a thunderstorm, landed with a very wet glider, absolutely drenched. Um, he encountered hail and all sorts of things. And uh, Angel, the supporter of Mario Moreno, ended up passing a Ford one way. Three hours later, it was a torrent and he had to be towed out. So they've had a bit of an epic with thunderstorms yesterday. But at the moment, nearly everybody who's between turn point five and six is in the air. We had a forecast for thunderstorms, but they're not materialising at the moment. We're not far from Castejón here, and the sky, and the clouds are building, but definitely to the south of us, the sky looks epic. <clears throat> so at the moment, Hayden Gray, um, Adrian Keller and Steve Bramfit are flying in sort of a one, two, three con configuration with Hayden at the front. Steve flew early this morning and flew extremely well. And that's allowed him to overtake Toma Coconea and Sam Boypiot. And in that group, also flying, is Rurai Koren. So they're neck and neck trying to get uh, a lead on each other and um, racing hard. The, the person who's chasing them is Jesse Williams. He's also in the air trying to make good progress. And we've seen that Willie Cannell is hiking up because he obviously wants to get in on that action. Now, if you're watching the live tracking at the moment, you might be a little bit confused about what Ignacio Aravelo is doing. We, uh, it confused us this morning because he seemed to be way, way, way off course, um, heading back towards turn point four. And we were thinking we saw him yesterday and he tagged turn point five, so what's going on? Well, we've had news from him He's decided not to take the northerly route, unlike everybody else. He's decided that the forecast is significantly better on the south side. He's a Spanish champion. He knows the route down there very well. So he's decided to fly uh, in the Castejón de Sos area. And rather than take the diagonal like the rest of them, he's going south and then east to stay in as good as weather as, as possible and with terrain that he knows very, very well. So it's going to be really exciting to see if that strategy works for him. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Um, the forecast is better to the south, over development more in the, the High Pyrenees. So keep watching the live tracking because we're in for a real treat today.